Hi, this is Daniel Ramey with Circo Innovations. This is episode two of the Arched Greenhouse Kits using Zebo clamps. In this episode, we're gonna be showing the difference between the double-walled greenhouse and the non-double-walled greenhouse with the 250-watt heat lamps. So we're gonna have these two wireless thermometers hanging in each greenhouse. This is going to show us the ups and downs throughout the night. So we can get an exact temperature gauge on what these greenhouses are doing with the double-walled and the non-double-walled setup. All right, so we've mounted our lights here in the double-walled greenhouse. We have our uh, thermometer here. We're gonna place it away from the light so it has a good reading. And we're gonna go set up the other one in the other greenhouse. All right, so that one's mounted. Uh, we have our wireless one hanging right here. We also have a couple other physical ones. They're just showing the temperature as they sit. All right, we'll set. See how tomorrow goes. Hey, good morning. We're here at the greenhouses. We're going to go check the findings. Uh, we had the greenhouses uh, with the light on last night, and we're going to see what they show. Okay, we're in here. Here's our wireless, we'll connect to those and check the findings. Going over here right now. Okay, double walled greenhouse. We'll compare the findings with what we find on the Bluetooth. Let's go check the other greenhouse. Intact. Greenhouse number two. Now we're going to take a look at the findings of the Bluetooth thermometers. We're going to be looking at greenhouse number one, that's the double walled greenhouse. All right, as you see in the top corner there, everything we're looking at is in Fahrenheit. We're going to be looking at the temperature unit and we're looking at that max number at the top and then you have your minimum. So we're going to call your attention to the minimum portion right now, that's 38. 7 degrees. That is in the coldest time, probably during the night around 2 a.m. That's what we saw in the double walled greenhouse for the coldest temperature. And our max temperature was 75.4 degrees. Now we're going to switch over to greenhouse number two, the single layer. As you can see, the minimum is at 32 degrees and our maximum was at 76.6 degrees. Now to compare those two greenhouses together, we're going to take a look at greenhouse number one, the double walled greenhouse with the Zebo clamps. At the coldest part of the night, it had a 6.7 degree temperature warmer than the single walled greenhouse. What this shows us is the double walled greenhouse was successful in keeping that temperature uh, at a higher level and not having so much fluctuation in the night hours. You may have noticed the maximum temperatures were a little higher in that single walled greenhouse. There was more fluctuation uh, and the double walled greenhouse did not get quite as warm. This shows us that there's not as much fluctuation with that double walled greenhouse and it stays more a consistent temperature and does not go across the board hot and cold throughout the day and night. Thank you for watching episode two on the double walled greenhouse studies. Uh, if you have not seen number one, go to our YouTube channel and find that number one video and continue to follow our findings for the double walled Zebo clamp greenhouse design. For more videos like this or PVC pipe DIY ideas, go to www.circoinnovations.com. You can buy any of our products there.